Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are conducting the series Comsol for Beginners. In today's video, we will be talking about analyzing data in a simple fluid flow problem. We will be taking an example of a fluid flow, a laminar flow, and then we will analyze the data. So we go to 2D and we click laminar flow from the recently used physics. We go to study and choose time dependent study yeah the study has been added and also the physics so we work with the centimeter uh, scale so i change the uh, scale to centimeter from the geometry option i let us try to do a simulation in instead of a rectangle let us try to do a simulation in a converging diverging channel so I create a rectangle initially say the rectangle has a height of 1 and say width of 5 so I create this rectangle here now what I can do is in order to create a converging and diverging section we can create a polygon so I click here and then say I click this play this location up to this so it will create a diverging section similar thing we do at the bottom also and here you can see uh, I have taken one two you can see one two three four five so here also one two three four five so I click here then okay I missed it so from here I click up to this point then I choose an option because this is a sketch we have to convert it to solid so we may have some transformation options conversion option that is convert into solid so we choose it and then we opt for these options and with this and then click on build selected so it will create the diverging section now we go to material click on add material from the library and uh, let us look for water so we'll be adding water to the uh, solution space it should be water liquid so we choose it it has automatically been added to the solution space now we go to the laminar flow we choose an inlet say here and we choose an outlet on the other side say this this is a diverging outlet so in inlet we can put a velocity say a normal velocity say 0 0.02 meter per second at the outlet we choose zero pressure so then we uh, something is showing wrong here maybe okay so this a different water we have taken we should go for normal liquid uh, this one you should go for so yeah it should be perfect now so now we carry on with the meshing so meshing is a kind of we can see meshing has been generated now we go to time dependent we click on compute it should run let us see Yeah, the simulation is running. It will take some time to complete the simulation. It's almost over. So yeah, you can see as this is a kind of diverging channel. So the velocity at the inlet was higher. But as it progresses across the channel, the velocity keeps on getting reduced in magnitude because 
it has to maintain the flow continuity the amount of liquid you put in in the left hand side the same amount of liquid has to come out from the right hand side and because of that you need to have a change in the velocity magnitudes along different cross sections now if you want to analyze that particular average velocity uh, how can you do that so you have to go to the data set and in the data set you will be having an option of cut line 2d so in the cut line 2d you can choose your coordinate suppose i will be choosing a cut line somewhere here say my x going from say x equal to 3 at a location we choose 3 this one also x equal to 3 y is going from 0 to 1 so yeah this is the line and now we are trying to plot velocity profile or trying to calculate average value so to calculate average value you have to go to the derived values and then you have to go to the average and click on line average in line average you can choose the option of cut line 2d and we can choose the last time step and we are basically trying to calculate the velocity average so if you click here you will be showing the option laminar flow and in laminar flow we go to velocity and in velocity we go to u and then we calculate we evaluate so you can see the average velocity is 0 0.0146 now let us take some location which is away from this location 3 so we change the x which is greater than 3 suppose we keep it 4 so we are going away so along this the velocity average should be diminishing so let us see again so we'll evaluate again so you can see the velocity magnitude has been reduced so i i am just showing you a way how, how exactly you can calculate you can analyze your data you can even try to plot this velocity profile along this particular cut line in order to do that you have to go to results right click on it you have to choose one 1d plot group and in 1d plot group group you have to comment where from the data would come so i can choose the option of cut line 2d1 then i can click on the last time step and again i right click here i choose the line graph option in the line graph automatically it is showing spf.u but we are trying to plot the velocity small u that is the x directional velocity component and i click on plot so this is how the profile looks like in uh, yeah in the i mean the x directional velocity profile so you can actually play around with your data and those data file can also be those data can also be extracted as data files so as i keep on moving i will be creating more courses i am trying to create a complete course on post processing in comsol so that will follow my this particular course on comsol for beginners so you keep watching our videos if you support us then we'll be getting motivation to upload more videos thank you